Hello guys, it's Brad and welcome to another episode of the Graft to a Draft. Now, as you would have seen in the uh, title there, there is going to be a little bit of a twist on this today, just for a couple of reasons. Uh, the first one being that at the moment I'm currently waiting for a controller for the PS4, um, which is going to basically be an Xbox style controller, it's called an Onyx controller, so it means that the analog stick is uh, in the same position as it would be on the Xbox, just because I'm struggling to get to grips with the PS4 uh, in terms of uh, using those controllers. So I figured the best way to do that is to get an Xbox controller, something I've been used to playing on now for the last three years, uh, to try and see if I can just improve the way I'm playing on the PlayStation. But obviously I didn't want to not give you an episode of the Graph to a Draft. So what you will see is we are over on the Trade to Glory account, um, I do have 10 packs stored on here at the moment so I thought what I'd do is I'd have a look at maybe doing a draft today and then I'm going to store these packs and these will be uh, in the pack opening on Friday for the team of the season so far promotion. Now obviously I didn't want to maybe just go straight into doing a draft and not show you any trading methods that I've been going through recently um, but they are ones that I have visited on the other channel but I have made a little bit of success on these today I've made around about 30,000 coins in about maybe half an hour um, on silver centre backs from uh, Union Berlin, uh, Paderborn and from Norwich City. Um, but what I first want to show you is the reason I've taken you on this account today to do the draft is because I realised when I was on it the other day that I already have one set up. I forgot that I'd done this draft and as you can see it is incredible uh, the amount of icons I got in this draft compared to what we've been getting on the PlayStation, it's, it's you know, worlds apart. But yeah, so the, the icon, uh, drafts I got in this, the icons I got in this are absolutely incredible. So this is the draft I'm going to go ahead and do today. However, if we do get knocked out early or something like that, then maybe I will go and, and do another draft. But first I'm going to take you and have a look at a couple of these methods that I've been looking at. Um, maybe not necessarily pick up some players, but I'm just going to take you through them just to sort of show you how to make some good coins at the moment. So. If you're looking at the Norwich City players, uh, what you want to do is just look at centre backs at the moment. They are the ones that have the most money. Uh, so we're going to go to Norwich City, and I think they're around about 7.5k. Yeah, so as we just loaded in there, you see there was one on the market at 7.5k. Just to check, he's not, a, he's not a bargain. We're going to go up a little bit. No, 7.5k seems to be around about the price. So that would mean you would be trying to get any Norwich centre back you can for 7,000 coins or under. We'll just try and see if we can go and snipe one here just for the video and just for the purpose of showing you guys that they you know, they do come up and you can make some coins on these. And there you go, we pick a closer up there, he's dead on the mark there for the 7,000 coins. So when we do put him up for 7,500, he is unfortunately only going to give us sort of 200 coin profit. Um, but you know, it, it's one of those things where every now and then you will pick up a bargain, you will pick up a, a card somewhere in the region of 4,000, 5,000 coins, and on that card you'll make you know 16, 1,700 coins profit. Uh, the other one, like I said, is going into uh, the Bundesliga and going to Paderborn. Now Paderborn. Um, I believe in their SBC have right backs and left backs uh, in there, so it's a three back centre back formation. So that's why um, there's some right backs and left backs on there that are around about 3,000 coins. Uh, so we're going to go and have a look here, and again, it seems that they're around about 7,000 coins. So we're going to try and get, see if we can get a Paderborn centre back for six and a half or under and see if we can put that on the market to sell as well. Uh, obviously these may not be insta sells, it just depends if somebody at the time is currently doing the SBCs uh, to get the players or just to get the packs because obviously say someone at this point had 18 out of 20 teams completed in the Bundesliga and they just need a Paderborn and Union Berlin to go they're going to go and spend the coins to complete those SBCs at the moment because if they try and do some of the um, bigger teams uh, once that resets they then obviously get some better packs and the team of the season promo is out on Friday those packs that would usually cost sort of 30,000 coins, 25,000 coins they might be able to do for 4 or 5k with some of the players they've got in their club so obviously it's cost effective for them to then go and do the Paderborn and the Union Berlin SBC uh, whereas obviously if it's someone with a, with you know 10 teams done and 10 to go it may not be worth it they've obviously just people that have just kind of picked out the best packs and have already done those 
So we've tried for about five minutes on the uh, Paderborn centre backs and nothing has come up for us to be able to snipe. Um, obviously this is on Xbox so there's a significant decrease in the amount of players on the market compared to the PS4. Um, on here I think there's around about a million, uh, just over a million transfers on the market at the moment and there'll be around about five and a bit million on the PlayStation 4 so uh, this may well be a much better trading method on the PlayStation because these cards will be more frequently on the market um, but any time that you sort of see any sort of premium Electrums or Prime Electrums or Rare Electrum players go up these are the sort of things you want to be sniping for and getting those players so what we'll do is go over to the Union Berlin and like I say on this one you actually take it to defenders because they're right and left backs uh, and the centre backs are mostly all the same price I believe they're around about the 5k mark. Yep, so there's one on there at 5,200 at the moment. Just going to go and make sure he's not a bargain. No, so he's around about the, you know, he's probably slightly undercut, um, but around about the right price. So we'll try and see if we can get one up uh, for 4,800 or less, knowing that we can get 5,200 coins. Um, we'll go and see if we can get one of these players. If we don't, again, like I say, I'm just showing you these methods and a few things on here, just so you can try and make a little bit of coins before team of the season. Um, and yeah, just generally, just to show you that although today is not going to be an episode of Graph to a Draft, in the sense that I'm not going to be making the 15,000 coins, just showing you some of the ways that I have made the amount of coins I've got on my account uh, in order to have the team I have. I, I haven't spent FIFA points. Everything I've done on this account is either through trading or if I've done a pack for an SPC where I've packed a good player, then I've sold that on. Um, but I think this year, my only two decent pulls uh, have been uh, nine guns, uh second in form, which I think went for about 350k, and I also got a De Bruyne in form, which was around about half a million. So yeah, 800,000 coins roughly is all I've kind of got in my big player pools uh, out of packs. I have got a team of the year Robertson, I have got a Future Stars Mason Greenwood, and I have also got a Neymar, but they are all untradeable, so they're either on my bench or in my club anyway. But as you can see here, we've been going for probably two minutes, two and a half minutes to try and get these defenders. Uh, nothing's popped up. Um, like I say, the best time is when you know that there are Electrum players to be uh, packed in the store or from the SBCs. Mostly that comes with like marquee matchups or even some of the league SBCs do have silver player packs or Electrum player packs in there. Um, but they're the best times to try and pick up some of these players. The other good one that I find is uh, John Stones. Um, he's one that does tend to make me quite a bit of money, so if we go and search him, you'll see, I think he's around about 6k. So he's even gone up a little bit at the moment. Yeah, there's a couple on there at 6,800. Uh, so generally 83s are quite low in price. Um, however, he goes up because he's needed as one of the players in the Man City SBC uh, in order to get that SBC chemistry. I think it's at 80 chem, but I think you need five Man City players maybe. Um, and obviously those that sort of feel Foden or any silver Man City cards are not going to be good enough. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll try and see if we can go and get ourselves a John Stones uh, for under the 6,400 mark. The only problem, like I say, with trying to do some sniping and trading at the moment is that team of the season is Friday. So anybody generally who is getting packed right now are saving them for Friday. Uh, they'll do a mass pack opening and hope with their less than 1% chance of getting a team of the season that they do get one. Um, but we did see a John Stones there and despite me actually being quite quick off the mark, uh, we didn't pick it up. But you know that's the ex example I can show you there. So that was five and a half thousand coins going up to sell for six thousand eight hundred means that you pretty much are getting a thousand coins on that card. Um, and you know once you've got thirty of them sniped, it only took us about a minute and a half to find one. You know you're doing all right. You're making a decent profit. But we're not going to get into those anyway. The thing you want to see today is us going into the draft. Um, as you can see, that one that I have got on there at the moment that's closer for Norwich, be on the market 10 minutes, hasn't sold. I anticipate by the time we maybe get through the first round of the draft or something that that will change. So let's go into the draft that I got a long time ago. I don't even remember making this draft, so I was surprised to see it there. Uh, as you can see, we've got uh, Icon Dalgleish, we've got Icon Ronaldo, Ronaldinho's prime moments in Cam, John Barnes on the left wing, Baggio in the centre mid, 
prime icon moments. Zidane at right centre mid, Garincha icon on the right wing, then we've got Socrates, Umtiti, Digne and then Lecomte to basically give Digne and uh, Umtiti the chem they need there. So unfortunately we are having to play uh, our goalkeeper on 8 chem, uh, we've got Socrates uh, on 7 chem and Digne is uh, obviously on lower chem because he's actually a left back card. Uh, what I had toyed with in the idea of this was um, potentially bringing on Valencia um, at one of these centre back positions just for the sheer fact that he's a medium medium so he won't be playing too far forward and he's got a lot of pace so I might switch uh, Socrates into the centre and take off Umtiti and uh, put Valencia in that right centre mid spot but I think for, for the time being I'm just going to see how the team goes uh, so we're in a 3-4-1-2 formation it's not my favourite formation uh, I must have not got some very good choices uh, but we'll go into a game See if we can get further in this draft than we do on the PlayStation and uh, try and see if we can get ourselves some decent rewards ready to open for Friday. So as you can see on there, he's got a, a couple of decent prime icons at Striker there. Uh, he was talking to me on the chat on the headset, which is why I've removed my headphones there because obviously I'm recording and uh, yeah, I don't want to obviously uh, engage in a conversation while I'm doing that. So we'll just, uh, he's taking us into the subs anyway. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and look at his team And so there you go, uh, Banksy's Road to Glory. He's got Ronaldo, Eusebio, Luis Alberto, Cristiano Ronaldo, Messi, Romagnoli, someone called Alvarez, uh, Baresi, De Litt, Ramos, and Handanovic. So he's also playing a three at the back formation. Um, I don't know if he's paused it there to make some subs. He has invited me to a, a chat party, which I'm obviously not going into. Um, but yeah, let's see how we get on in the game. Straight away, a mistake um, from kickoff. He's made there trying to do some skill moves. And um, we've got Ronaldo through on goal 1 0 straight away. Unfortunately, I'm at the back there and I've got the ball and I've gone to give it away. And uh, he's, uh, yeah, as Ronaldo's just nicked it off my defender's foot as I'm passing it out. So, uh, unfortunately, straight away, almost uh, back to 1 0. Um, he's doing a lot of skill moves and things, so I think he knows how to use his players quite well. Um, as I've said on previous episodes of things before, I don't do skill moves. Uh, very much just a passing the ball around, trying to create space. And as you would have seen there, nice bit of speed up lag um, as he's gone on the attack to uh, concede. Um, there's nothing I could do about that. It's come at the worst time and um, meant that, yeah, basically I've ended up conceding. And there we have it, we're back to 2-2. Two -two. Um, fairly well deserved in a way because uh, he's not really got through on goal other than those two opportunities and um, we're passing around quite nice in the midfield it's just that I've had a couple of through balls that have just been intercepted at the last second uh, so 2-2 two -two, I feel fairly confident at the moment uh, although he's got the skill moves I'm, I'm reading him quite well I didn't realise it was a deflection goal but I think that would have gone in anyway and uh, we uh, move on And there we go, uh, we're 3-2 up. Uh, unfortunately, I did have to, uh, I suppose they call it a tramp, that goal. Um, just because I just want to get through the rounds of the draft, obviously get the best packs I can. Uh, it's nothing against this guy, it's just that um, I want to win, and at the moment that's what I'm going to try and do. Um, just uh, because he is running down that right-hand side a little bit, I am going to bring Valencia on for Socrates at that right centre-back position. Um, he does keep seeming to try and go down that side with Ronaldo uh, and his winger there. So we're just going to bring him on, give us a bit more pace at the back. Uh, 
Um, as you can see again, uh, another speed up lag goal. Uh, it's the second time it's happened to me, so I don't know if it's his connection there that's causing that. Um, that's quite frustrating because obviously I shouldn't be three all. Um, I didn't know what to do, so I just tried to bring my keeper out to see if he could catch the ball, which ended up actually costing us the goal as well. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, some of the things in this game out of my control. So there we have it, we're 3-3 uh, three, three at half time, um, yeah obviously we know that two of his goals have come from the speed up lag, uh, so I feel like it should be around about 3-1, um, we've had 100% of our shots, 90% of our passes, I'm pretty happy with the way the team's going at the moment. And there we go, it's 4-3, we've got a nice goal with Dalgleish there. Um, haven't really used this card much, um, but so far, so good. Um, he's had a couple of good shots that Sir Stegen saved, um, and that's the first goal for him. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously when you've got this many icons in your team, you expect to sort of not really miss many chances. Um, but yeah, he's put that away nicely, so 4-3. Uh, And there we go, another goal with Ronaldinho this time. Uh, we win the ball out, Gaffer's uh, just getting cleared. And uh, yeah, it just cuts in with a little finesse into the right-hand corner. 5-3 up, but I'd say this is a fair assessment of the game so far. Um, I feel like we've definitely been the better player. Fair play. Uh, Messi's put away a free kick in the 93rd minute. Um, yeah, not much I could do about that, really. It's a great free kick. Um, but, you know, we have sealed the win here. 5-4 uh, through to the uh, second round. And, um, yeah, at least we've uh, played really well in that. I feel like uh, those forwards actually are really good. Uh, Ronaldo and Dalglish together seem to be perfect. So uh, we'll move on and um, see if we can get through the second round. So into the second round, and this is the team we're up against. Um, he's got prime moments Crespo, prime moments Gerard, prime moments Sol Campbell. Um, then a couple of other tasty looking cards as well. Obviously Zidane, Salah, Mbappe, Carl Walker. Uh, Dwight Gale, um, I assume at the front there, he's probably going to sub off for someone else on his bench. But yeah, it looks like a tidy team playing the 4-4-2. Let's see how we go. And already I could tell we're up against it on this one. Um, a few skill moves to lead up to that goal. Ball roll around the keeper. Yeah, this guy is uh, he's a good player. So that's three interceptions I've made there. And every single time it's gone back to him. Um, yeah, it's just there's just something in this game interceptions and passing two of the things I think just need a little bit of tweaking um, to, to get the interception three times and still not come away with the ball so we've got one back it's 2-1 uh, nice play from the free kick there uh, to feed Zidane in um, yeah, I feel like it's probably you know probably a little bit late to get back into this game because I feel like he's a good player, but he's also had a couple of unfortunate goals there. Um, so yeah, we'll see how we go. So 
Well, uh, we're the one uh, fortunate in that instance. So uh, probably now a fairly even game. Um, we've got to take a finesse shot to the corner of Barnes. It's been blocked and landed straight at Ronaldinho's foot, uh, who's then put it away. Uh, so yeah, quite lucky. And 2-2. Uh, uh, it seems that FIFA has evened out the, uh, the bit of luck in this game so far. And there we go, we pulled it back uh, to 3-2. A uh, little roll back uh, with Ronaldinho there to just feed in Zidane again, uh, who puts his 3-2 uh, up. Yeah, unfortunately, you read the turn there. It's a little bit annoying because in the middle of the park there, I, it, I passed it and it didn't pass it the right way or passed it too far, rather. Uh, which, considering I didn't use the through ball, was annoying. It should just be a pass to foot. Um, it's cost us a goal, <laughs> just as the, the ball gets given away again. Um, but yeah, we're uh, three all going at half time, probably. So yeah, there you have it, 3-3 uh, three, three going at half time, uh, I've had a little bit more of the game uh, after that start, uh, yeah, I've had an unfortunate goal um, in terms of that last one there to go 3-3, three, three. but we both had a bit of luck in one of our other goals as well, um, so hopefully it'll even itself out again and I'll get a bit of good luck and we'll see ourselves get through to the third round. Couldn't get it out, unfortunately, from that corner. Uh, tried a couple of times, but the ball just kept going back out to him. And yeah, he's turned us in the middle there to put that ball away with Salah. 4-3. Yeah, I thought I shouldered him off that and got away. Um, what's frustrating is just before that, we had a really good chance with uh, Dalglis and uh, Ronaldo that should have put some decent shots away, uh, but unfortunately didn't. Uh, so yeah, with 5-3, it looks like a uh, story of my life on these draft series is that I'm going out in the second round. And what to say about this? Uh, he's got the ball and he's just decided to keep it um, pretty boring, really. Uh, if someone wants to win that much in a draft, I'm inclined to just let them. So we have it again uh, out in the second round. Unfortunately, I don't think we'll get any decent packs from that, uh, so I may well open them. Uh, just because I think uh, if we get some sort of the non-rare golds for the league SPC players, they're worth selling on at the moment. Uh, it looks like we have had our um, our closer, uh, I think it was that we had sell under transfer market in that time. Yeah, so there we go. You see, you sold them for seven thousand five hundred coins. Uh, so like I say, it did take a little bit of time. But if you are keep going on those silver centre backs or those silver defenders. From the Bundesliga or the Premier League teams that uh, have high valued silver centre backs that are required, you will pick some up and you will make profit over time. Um, obviously, we've only made, I think, yeah, it was about 200, 300 card, uh, coins on that card, but there are certainly, you know, other other cards that make better profit that you will pick up. We'll go and open this silver players pack because you never know, I might as well go uh, get one of those players if I can. 
see if we've got anything in here that might be worth some money. So we've got an Amiens right winger. Doesn't appear to be worth anything more than maybe 500 coins. Uh, we've got an FC20 left back. There's not many of them on the market. The lowest there was uh, 1,700, so we'll put him up at 1.4. Uh, see if he gets picked up. Centre mid for Roma. Maybe around about 500 coins. Uh, we got, we did get a Paderborn left mid. Uh, so that was that was a handy one to get there. You can see the lowest there was about 4,800 coins. Was it? F yeah, 4,600. So. Um, that's not too bad. We can put that at 4-4 and uh, let that go for a little bit cheaply. Uh, so it's not too bad actually. We picked up one of the one of the clubs we were looking at in the trade market to make some coins back. Go and open the goal pack. Uh, probably going to leave the rest for Friday just in case. As we actually get something in this. It's a board. It's a Brazilian board. Cam, is that Oscar? Yep, that is Oscar. Um, wasn't expecting to get a rare player, let alone a board player, so that's not so bad at all. And uh, we'll just see if anything, any of these are worth a little bit of money. So Holgate there, uh, looks like he goes for around about 900 coins. I don't think Veltman will be worth much. Again, around about sort of 900, maybe a thousand coin marks, so we'll pop him on the market for that. Uh, none of these sell. I keep all the uh, kits that I haven't got, uh, so I've got loads of kits in the club. And um, as you see, we've gone uh, gone onto the market there. We have sold one of those players already, uh, being the Roma player. Uh, but we should hopefully make up you know, 4,000 coins back on that draft. That, considering I didn't even know I had it, is a bonus. So. That is the end of Graft to a Draft for today's episode. Obviously, it was a little bit different to what it usually is, only based on the fact that at the moment I am waiting for that controller to come through for the PlayStation. But once team of the season here, there'll be plenty of things to trade on, uh, plenty more SBCs and things for us to be able to make some coins off some players on that series. And on your trade to glory at the moment here, uh, if you check out my last episode, um, I was struggling with De Gea. I have gotten rid of him. He is gone at the moment. So I am currently looking for a goalkeeper. Any suggestions? please pop it down in the comments and I'll take them on board uh, it does have to be Premier League unfortunately uh, but that has been the Graft to Draft series as always please like and subscribe to the channel uh, there will be an episode of Foot Eliminator coming out on Thursday again with Matty and on Friday night, we'll be doing a team of the season pack opening. Uh, I've got packs on my account. I don't know if I'm going to have access to other accounts to open some packs as well, but hopefully we will. So check those videos out as well. Like I say, subscribe to the channel. Please spread the word so we can get some good collaborations with some of the other YouTubers on here. I've been B-Rad. Thank you for tuning in.